Hey guys, welcome back to All and Law. This is what you call OBG1 lecture, obstetrics and gynecology. Today we're gonna talk about risk factors. What are the risk factors? What are the risk factors for a malignant change in H mole? For malignant change. in H mole, hydrated form mole, right? So what are what are the signs that indicates that the patient with this H mole can have risk of developing cancer in future? So these are the things we are gonna discuss over here. So I'm gonna list out the causes, just remember. Okay, the most important being the risk factor for a malignant change in H mole, that's a hydrated form mole, is age. Remember age, if the patient's age is more than 40 years, She's more risk of developing this a malignant change, okay? Irrespective of what you call parity, remember. Irrespective of the parity, okay? And a previous three are what you call more births irrespective of the age. And age is more important than the parity, okay? And HCG, HCG level is more than 100,000, okay? ML units per like a million per ml, okay? Right? More than 100,000. And the uterine size, the uterine size, more than 20 weeks. Okay? This is also can as risk factor for a malignant change. And a previous history of what you call molar pregnancy. Previous history of molar pregnancy okay and a large what you call theca lutein cyst theca lutein cyst theca lutein cyst is if it's more than six centimeter then it's a risk factor for developing what you call um, malignant change in h mole okay guys so try to watch this video again and again thank you so much for watching this video take care